Welcome to Tech is New Black, where we give you the latest in technology so you can stay ahead of the curve. We're here today with David Powell, Vice President of Managed and Cloud Services at TechLinks to talk about CryptoWall. Um, I've heard a lot about CryptoWall in the news lately. I know we've had some customers reach out to us because of problems with CryptoWall, which mm -hmm. I don't think they knew that it was CryptoWall at the time. Yeah. But, so what is CryptoWall? So when you used to have to worry about malware viruses, you know, it was the stuff that would go to a computer and just screw stuff up and make it run slow or maybe populate a whole bunch of ads. Right. Well, CryptoWalker and CryptoWall and things like it is what's called ransomware. And what it does is it encrypts all of your information. So, and then sends wow. a key back to the bad guys and then they charge a ransom for you to get your data back. So wow. if you want your data back, you have to send them $300, $400, and then they will give you the key that it takes to unencrypt all your data. So it doesn't like screw stuff up, it just basically shuts it down wow. and then holds your data ransom for you to pay to get it back. So are people actually having to pay to get their data back or are companies like ours trying to save them from so if that you've disaster. got, yeah, that's a good question. If you, a lot of people are paying because they don't know, you know, what to do, and that's really where a good backup comes into place. So if you've got a good backup and you can go back in time to before you got the crypto wall or crypto locker virus, then you can go back and restore all that data clean. But if you've got the kind of backups that a lot of people do, which is where it's just overwriting the backup from the day before, it can take the encrypted data and overwrite it over your good data, and now you've got an encrypted backup and an encrypted one on your computer, which is a challenge. So the best choice in that case is you know, to have a good backup policy and things like that, and to have multiple versions of your data so you can go back and get it later. Gotcha. So how would a user know if they were affected by crypto? Oh, it'll tell them. Okay. So you'll try to go to something, you'll get this message basically like, hey, we've got you know, your data and sure. um, it's encrypted and there's no way for you to hack it out. Um, so a lot of times we're like, oh, well, maybe we could just force the password and figure out what that is. Right. But it's really like military grade encryption. So wow. you either have to go back in time and pull your data before it got that way or send them the ransom. But they'll let you know if you have it. Wow. So um, what are people doing to protect themselves against crypto wall? Well, you always want to make sure that you keep all of your you know, stuff up to date and all right. your stuff current. But then the better question too is, you know, just stay kind of in the mainstream. So don't click anything you don't know. Don't reply to anything from a sender you're not aware of. Sure. And if it need ask you to load some software, you know, check that out before you do. So it's really just kind of good responsible usage and not kind of getting off in the fringes a little bit. Sure. So anything you don't know who it is that's sending it or there's a, a random attachment, you should probably not open it. That's correct. So stay kind of away common from that. sense. That's right. Some of it. So that's right. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. And um, tune in next time for more Tech is a New Black or follow us online at www.techlinks.com.